Good morning, welcome back to Judd Ventures. I'm Darren, and today, if you can't see Nickelodeon streak behind me, we're here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach because we thought we'd take a short walk around the site, see what's going on, see what kind of track maintenance is being done, see if there's anything we can see. Um, I just wanted to give you a bit of an update because we thought we'll come here, everyone's down at Alton Towers, going to roller coaster a restaurant and seeing what's going on at Nemesis, and we thought no one's up at Blackpool, no one's taking a look in there. And then what happened last night? The super group that is Lift Hills and Thrills and your experience guide turned up right here the day before me. That's like trying to put out an album when David Bowie and Mick Jagger are putting out Dancing in the Streets. You've got no chance of getting to number one. So uh, thanks for that guys. But no, in all seriousness, both are absolutely fantastic really great guys so go and have a watch of their video because they'll know infinitely more than me when it comes to the coasters and the constructions uh, we're just here for a little bit of a spy ourselves and to, to take you guys round so let's go have a look so I'm thinking with it being Friday well, it's quite early on a Friday morning it's only around 10 o'clock have they even got started on work yet are they gonna take the weekend off I'm unsure I've not seen anyone yet you can just see the uh, the edge of avalanche over here that's looking like it's going to be uh, going sometime soon, which is a shame because it's uh, a fantastic ride, but you can see over on the right hand side just kind of how much maintenance it needs doing to it, even just from an uh, aesthetical point of view, it's not looking particularly brilliant. Um, in fact, in the far distance as well, you can see on the curve just how much it's sort of peeling. Uh, but yeah, that might not be here. Um, I have a well, I, I don't think they'd have time to get rid of it this year, but in the years to come, it looks like that's going to be a, a goner. It's a little bit of uh, work going on on the ground, just underneath the uh, big torture device that is Infusion. And the Horror Crypt was a fantastic little place, this, before the, uh, the lovely gent was seemingly sort of pushed out of it from too high rent. But we are off over to Scream and Shake in a short while, which is the shop they set up in place for this. And it's actually worked out very well because Scream and Shake is an absolute fantastic place to, uh, to go get a drink and for a good night out. It really is good. And this to me is just a little bit of a shame. I know this isn't necessarily all Blackpool Pleasure Beach's fault, but this could be a stunning little facade for Pleasure Beach. I mean, the different coloured buildings looking really nice. You've got the arch entranceway over into Ocean Boulevard, all the way down, but it's just looking dead. I mean, you've got boarded up buildings with no shops inside. You've got a bus stop, which why Bradford Council decided to stick a bus stop straight in front of the entrance there taken away from it but at least put it on this side of the road where it's not going to take away that view but yeah it's, it's just a shame that that front facade has been left to to go into a little bit of disrepair really because if this were done up properly a bit like how I imagine um, Big Easy Boulevard in Fort Park is going to look this could be a really really nice facade and it just sort of welcome you it'd make you want to come into the park as you're walking down here and there she is, the big one, in all her might. For only a few months, the biggest roller coaster with the highest drop in the UK for just the time being. Shortly, that's going to go to Hyperia, and this is going to lose its unique selling point, which is a bit of a shame. Another reason that Blackpool really needs to sort of step up what they're doing at the moment. Well, here's where the, uh, the new track pieces are being installed. Looks a bit Donkey Kongish at this moment in time. A big, uh, a big jump ready there. Now that would make it exciting, wouldn't it? Trying to go down that without the track there. But yeah, we've seen the track around the back of the car park, ready to be installed. When they're going to install it, I don't know. But there's that first drop. What a fantastic first drop. Not the original one. They have changed the layout since it was first introduced. But how fantastic is that? One of the first coasters, if not the first coaster in the UK, that had to get that uh, glowing light on the top to warn air traffic that it was there because it's so high. But yeah, fantastic. It's great, even though we're not back in there and on it, it's great to see this coaster up close and personal again. You just, you, 
you forget just how massive and how brilliant it looks until you're actually here underneath. So I've switched to the phone for the time being because you can't come to the seaside without actually coming down and seeing the sea. However, the, uh, the sea's having a little bit of a mare at the minute and we're, uh, we're getting some fair old waves over the side and I don't particularly want the camera gear getting soaked. Woo! But yeah, I mean, just look at that. Who couldn't be happy walking down the side of the big one? I know they've got a long way to go before they are taking on the likes of Holland Towers and Thought Park. It's a completely different type of amusement park though. That's just what it is, an amusement park, not a not a theme park. And I think that's what we forget sometimes. We've just had Alton Towers last night announce night rides for the start of the season. Is this something Blackpool is going to look at? Fans have been screaming for it for a while because back in the day, you used to be out here eight, nine o'clock at night, sometimes even later. They wouldn't close the park until everyone had buggered off and you could be going up and down this thing in the dark. Fantastic lighting. It really, really was uh, a unique and a wonderful experience and I'm hoping that they take Alton Towers lead and just do it. Just go with night riding Blackpool. See, another little fact for you as well, and one that I'm quite disappointed to relay, is that at one point, there was a big project to actually quite dramatically change the layout of the big one. So what was going to happen is it was instead of the first drop coming down and going over where you can see it over here, the big drop was actually going to come down and they were going to build across the road and through over here. You can see where they've actually built the footers already into this stop here or this uh, this beach walk ready for the track that was going to come down and sort of out over the edge of the beach and then back in as well and that was obviously scrapped don't know financial reasons some other reasons maybe the uh, the spray that we're getting so much of at the minute would have been too much work and too much maintenance for the actual coaster itself all that salt water can be quite corrosive but it really is quite a disappointment that we didn't see that really unique layout over here onto the beach. That would have been fantastic and maybe with Hyperia coming and with some of the other coasters coming to the UK and especially with Universal Great Britain opening up over here in a few years that that will be the kind of the spur that they need to do something really big like change up the big ones layout. The footers they're already here. Part of the work is done. Let's get on it, Blackpool. Let's see a new coaster. We've got the uh, the Boulevard Hotel and the Big Blue Hotel. A focus that Blackpool Pleasure Beach have had for a number of years. I mean, that is a it's a good thing. Don't get me wrong. These uh, these hotels are absolutely stunning. They really do add to the experience here. But focusing on them too much in lieu of focusing on some of the beautiful coasters does take away from it but there's no doubt they are really good hotels might have to come back and stay in a couple of them this year just to have a look inside not really much going on inside it has been completely torn out windows are still completely filthy obviously something is being done with it but not entirely sure what right now I would pay good money to be going in Passage today. What a fantastic attraction. The first horror attraction I ever went in was the Passage del Terror, and I was terrified. Never going in one before, and then coming through this thing. It was a terrible pleasure. But since then, it started an addiction that's led, well, all the way through to this channel, really, as we started going to all of these scare events through the country. Fantastic. Thank you for igniting that kind of obsession within me, Passage del Terra. I don't know if you can hear me with this ridiculous wind, but you can see just over here is the track from the big one. Ready to be installed, and all the truck's worth there. There's at least, what, three, four sections of track. So, 
as promised, here we are. Scream and Shake Horror Cafe. An absolute diamond of a little cafe here in Blackpool. It's great to see sort of horror having a bit of a resurgence. So we're gonna pop on in. up there. Hopefully we don't get any reported fires again. Ah, we're hoping for a ride on the ghost train but it's also closed. So this is actually how much of a nerd I am is that I came here to start off my stag do before going around Blackpool. Right guys, so that is our day done here at Pleasure Beach Resort, or Blackpool Pleasure Beach, whatever they're calling themselves now. Um, absolutely nothing going on today. Maybe a couple of deliveries of track, but I'm pretty sure that all came yesterday. There's no work going on on any of the actual coasters um, in terms of putting the track up there. Uh, there is a little bit of work going around some of the station areas, just a bit of maintenance work, a bit of sort of cleaning, uh, making tidy. But other than that, not much going on. A fantastic uh, little drink down in Shake and Scream, or Scream and Shake, get the two mixed up. Um, but yeah, a good day. It's just, it's really nice to be back around an amusement park, around these great coasters. It just gets you excited for the season to come. But not much going on. So with that being said, please smash the like button for us. Subscribe if you want to see more content over this next 2024 theme park season. And with that being said, hit the credits.